Welcome back to the School of Calisthenics at Mike's Gym Marbella. Tim, Jackal, you ready for this? Can we get Mark? No? <laughs> <laughs> So just what you were doing before, just let, what were you doing before? Elbows, point here, come, come go down to the shape. Elbows, and then they were just, you were letting them point outwards and coming in there, yeah, yeah, coming in there. Whereas we want to screw, so my elbow crease, point my elbow crease forward and match your elbow back. That creates external rotation of the shoulder. It's gonna put your shoulder in a better position and the elbow in a better position. It's gonna load up your triceps a little bit. Yeah, and then your head, look, is gonna make a triangle. Wait, 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 yeah, make a triangle with the hands. Good and drive back up. So I'm here, I'm screwing there. It's that action, that little twist. Yeah, so just show me that. Before you do anything, just stay in that pipe position and just show me that little twist. Here, relax, relax. There, there. I'm not turning the hand, watch. Hand doesn't move. It's coming from the shoulder. Yeah, yeah that's it, that's it. Yeah, so you're just talking that up. Nice, nice cue. Um, Imagine you've got a piece of paper, a uh, newspaper on the floor, and you're going to try and rip it open. Yeah, but you're not turning the hand to create that. Action. Yeah. And then head comes forward and makes that triangle. Good. Okay. And then the other thing I want you to do, yeah, I want you to walk forward. So I want the forearm to be vertical. So look, if I'm here, rather than being back there where I've got that angle, I'm going to try and stack vertically and come down. And drive back up to that shape, trying to keep a vertical position with the forearm. So you need, I need you to stick your bum higher and load yourself further forward. Yeah, yeah, come, yeah. That, that just helps you like load up onto the air, so that nice and tall. This stays vertical. You come forward and down, forward and down, forward and down. Better. Yeah, it might feel a little harder. We'll go more vertical. Yeah. Boom, nice. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah, but better. Yeah. Better. You control it, you pull it back, there you go. Fingertips, 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 fingertips. Good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Head position, where you were looking, made a difference. Tell him. <laughs> that was just like she didn't give herself a focal point to look at in between her hands. And we just worked on the head position. So not looking at hands by hiking through the neck, but just slightly eyes, uh, looking through the eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Best thing you did. Just teaching those little bits, play at the circle, play at the edge of that like, like periphery of where I'm stable. The same thing I'd get you to do if I wanted you to balance on one leg and you just had a knee surgery, I'd be getting you going here. Okay, you're comfortable with that one? Yeah, yeah, get stable with it. Now I'm going to get you out here. Can you now stabilise it without letting that drop yeah. in? I've got a, a sphere of where I can stabilise and I want to go and play at the edge of that. But I don't want to go so far that I, every time I'm going back over, okay, back over. Yes, yes, That's yes. not helping me learn to balance. Yeah. Whereas if, I just, if I'm feathering, where am I getting it? Okay, now I can start to feel where the stability here needs to be. Yeah to get me into a stable shape out there. Because so so yeah. handstand is all about precision. Mm. And then what you learn is it becomes very automatic and subconscious of those corrections. You just know where it is. And a brain does it before you've even thought about it. Awesome tips, yeah. But you're racking up some nice time there. So you're thinking about, yeah, going from the top. Yeah, good, good. So yeah. let's have you sat back. Yeah. That's it, elbows nice and tight. So what are you actually yeah. going to go from like a yeah. like more neutral position? Yeah, that's it, that's precisely it. So elbows to the side, and then think about pulling yourself to the rings. So doing like a chin up. So one thing, I'll just give you a quick, so keep the elbows tight. Yeah, that's it. Pull. Good, elbows a little bit more tight on this one. Because what you need to think about, good, better. What you need to think about, when you're doing a dip, you're not gonna be out here. The elbows are gonna be like slap bang tight to your body. So we need to maximise the pull yeah. to, to dip, right. 
So what we can't afford is to lose energy or efficiency yeah. going out wide. So we're just trying to make it as smooth as possible. I like with the gymnastics, you want to go from A to B as yeah. smoothly, as cleanly as possible. Okay. But initially, obviously, there's lots to think about. Just, just get used to laying up, but keeping elbows nice and tight. To the ribcage. Best one yet. Good, really good. Let's have two more of those. Good, one more. Cool. Yeah, brilliant. Really good. So that's it, making it more difficult. Good. Big pull. Good. Yeah, excellent. Two. Let's have two more. Good, last one. Super. Pull your chest down through here. Pull your chest, pull your chest, pull your chest, pull your chest, pull your chest. Good, stay there. And then imagine if you let yourself go here to go even lower. So see, you can go lower, but that's you just changing this, your pelvis position. So what you want is to stay tucked there and pull the chest down from that. Yeah, that's, so it's active. You're working quite hard there, yeah? You can feel it. So it's not a passive position. Shoulder blades have rotated upwards and out. You can see them here. It's in nice shape. So that, they compared to when we've seen you before, like, that looks, that looks good. Like that you're, you should be able to create a straighter position rather than that like banana type shape. But the banana shape might be more to do with, it's easy to balance in that shape because you distribute in body weight front and back. So you, so you balance it easier, but you have, you, your shoulder range looks good. Yeah. It's just then the balance, to be straighter, balance is harder. That's the only problem. And that's what I want to get to. We can go a little wider with the hands, just, just a little bit, a little wider with the hands. And I want you to push through your shoulders, as in push through your shoulder blade, like if you were to push me away, like push through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just pushing effectively through your hand. Yeah? I want you to think, just think about those two things. And just get, and then, yeah, let's just do those two things first. So slightly wider with the hands. Just a smidge, go a smidge, what? just a smidge. There we go. Just see side on, Martin. And push through here. Strong through there. Better. There you go. That's better. Now rest. Now rest, rest, rest. Come on, rest, rest. Okay? So, if it, we didn't have the shot before, you're more active through here. So your hip is, and we're talking your hips like, it's that much higher, but it's, it looks good. And then, so now, I want you to then create that same sta stable position. Push down super hard. Prepare the body for uh, the shoulders for having to deal with you taking that one leg off. I want you to bring it off carefully because at the moment when you take it off, you are, um, you, but you take, you sort of, it's, it's on its own program over here rather than take him off and keep him in nice and tight. But he's sort of going where he wants to. <laughs> strong to him before you worry about taking anything off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay strong, prepare, prepare, better, 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 better. There you go. Miles better. Yep. Good. And that's not, so like you haven't got stronger in the last three minutes. We've just created a more stable base for the shoulder. And then you've the strength, because you can see, you can see the size of your muscles, you've got the strength. It's there, so it's just giving you that stable base to then push from. And just cement that now. What, uh, when you're going to go into the full thing, yes. But just, I want you to be able to, you need to, before we worry about that, we need to be able to take both of those legs off and not see the, sh the angle at the shoulder drop in. Yeah. Stay there, Damien, stay there. So like, because the, look at the line of the trunk with the arm, it's not, it's not like arm straight and then trunk straight. It's having to create that shape of that going over the top because it's not pushing all the way through here. So come down. It may, like, is his, is his shoulders tight? So, show me, like, come against the wall. Back stays against the wall, head against the wall. Can I touch the wall? Yeah. With my, should you show me? Un, so, do you mean unloaded? Yeah. Back against the wall, head against. <laughs> head against the wall, head neutral against the wall. Yeah. So, it, so, so we were a little tight. Yeah. Yeah, probably lats, maybe yeah. a bit of pecs, but we're a little tight to get to there. We want, if we can't do this, he's not, there's air. Like, whereas we want to create that trunk line straight with the shoulder. A little bit of thoracic extension yeah, maybe yeah. as well. But try the walk up. Yeah. 
So try the walk up now. Just get happy, yeah. And you're going to try and get everything to touch the wall. I'm here to support you as well. So, because sometimes it's confidence, like you, you felt like you was, you kept trying to adjust your hand a little bit, but. So, now then, push through here. Feet, to walk, feet together, push the feet towards the ceiling. Good, so nose on the wall, right, perfect. Right, now stay there, and then I want you to get your rib cage off the wall. No, 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 get there, that's it, but I want you to pull your rib cage off. Create a bit of, feet on the wall, a bit of separation there. Feet on the wall, feet stay on the wall, feet stay on the wall. Good. Now I'll come back down. Good. You'll see, you'll see, you, it will show you, you'll see the straighter, yeah. like it's straighter there, but how hard is it? You're working, because oh, yeah. you're working end range, we're going like yeah. here, where I don't want to go because I'm tight, yeah. and then I'll, I'm like, because I don't go there very often, I'm also weak. Yeah. So then it's hard, but that then needs to be your sort of more comfortable okay. position, and that's you then straighter. Like, push through here high. Better. Yeah, better, 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 better. Yeah? Even your start position, like. Even me here, just. Or even to get in the air, to get into the shape, just stick, immediately get your bum higher. Yeah, yeah. Immediately get your bum higher. Better. There you go. Yeah, good. Yeah, that was better. You took the knee off and you didn't drop any further. Yeah? No, it's still. A little bit, yeah. So if you video yourself, this is a good example. Like if we if we video ourselves side on, you can then see what's going on. You get, I'm giving you the feedback because I can see it. You could give yourself the same feedback if you. Being low down so that the band can go under his bum means we're going to be in a bit of an L-sit position. But that L-sit position isn't a bad thing because when the feet go down, it helps me rock forward in between the rings. So he's going to go through. He's sat on the band making sure he's got in his false grip. You can use your feet into the floor to just let yourself adjust. Then his job is thumb to chest, don't mess about aggressively <laughs> through in between the rings. Because the first one we did, you paused, and then went <laughs> and tried to get rid of it. It's like, use the pull. So you pull. Yeah. Nice. That's the message that you're talking about. Yeah. So, say, right. so <laughs> links the two together. So just, uh, put your feet down, adjust your false grip. This time, I want you to pull, go through, and find that happy place at the bottom of the deep dip. Don't rush, don't rush to get out of the deep dip. Yeah. Good. And then get out. Good. Why? Because that's the most difficult bit. So like, his brain's going like, I'll get some right now, is it? And he's like, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> and then, doo -doo. and then it's a case of getting rid of the red band. Red band doesn't help much, it's just a little nudge to it. Last year, Fran came and he'd not done any kind of sense at all. Bodybuilder, Body yeah? So you, you, you see you're kicking up and then you're comfortable bailing out. Yeah. He's gonna kick up to me and I'm gonna help him spend more time balancing. So just, just kick, up, kick up to me as if like I'm the wall. We can do this in partners. So feet together nice and so pushing feet towards the ceiling. And then I can hold here, we can stay here for as long as he's got energy in his shoulders not to fall down. So he's constantly pushing down hard, he's not resting. But if I were, hold here, he's controlling his shins. If I come down, to here, who's controlling his legs? Yeah, but I'm controlling his pelvis. It's harder if I come lower. He's now controlling his pelvis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come down, rest of this. Good. <laughs>